This video will overview how to use a torque wrench to install new mulching blades on a 42-inch Craftsman lawn tractor, model number 917271530. It is important to follow all safety measures when working on a lawn tractor, such as disconnecting the negative battery terminal, spark plug wires, and removing the ignition key. In addition, one should wear personal protective equipment, such as gloves to protect the hands, and eye protection, such as goggles or a face shield. I've already removed the mowing deck and super cleaned it. Please see the link above. Note, whenever I remove the mowing deck, I perform a basic series of checks that I've listed here in the video. Also, I have two bonus tips at the end of this video, so please be sure to stay until the conclusion. The first step is to prepare the torque wrench. I'm using a 1 half inch drive torque wrench with a 9 16 inch socket. This torque wrench is rated for 150 foot-pounds torque maximum. The Craftsman Tractor Manual indicated the correct torque value is 27 to 35 foot-pounds. Therefore, I set my torque wrench to 35 foot-pounds by properly turning the handle until I dial to the correct value of 35 with the 5 lined up to the center line. That's 20. That's 30. That's 35. The next step is to install the new blades with the trailing edge up towards the deck. The blade is held in place with a flat washer, lock washer, and grade 8 hex bolt. The model number of the blade is 134149 with an updated part number of 532134149. Note, only the edge of the blade actually cuts the grass initially. I've left a link in the description box below of the blades I've used in this video. The next step is to connect the blade and torque it into place. To ensure proper assembly, the center hole on the blade must align with the puzzle pattern on the mandrel assembly. Note, the blade bolt is grade 8 heat treated and can be identified by 6 lines on the bolt edge. Never use a blade bolt with a lower rating as the edges can get worn off making it difficult to ever service the blades. I used an old brick on the left side of the blade to hold it in place and I gently moved the torque wrench to the right until I heard the click. Once the torque wrench makes the click noise, it's important to stop, as the correct torque value has been obtained. Next, I repeated the entire procedure again for the second blade. The blades are now properly connected and torqued to the OEM specification. Please see another video I have in the description box below on how to connect the mowing deck back to the tractor. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Here is the first bonus tip. Once you've used your torque wrench, always make sure to put it away correctly. This is accomplished by loosening the lock knob, then setting the torque to the lowest setting by turning the handle counterclockwise. The second bonus tip is to examine the alignment of the deck and blades. This is accomplished by bringing the two edges of the blade together. If they are level, then that means the alignment is right. If they are not level, then that means an alignment correction would be required. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. In addition, if you found this video helpful, kindly like, share, hit the bell icon, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.